Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Get in where you fit in. Apparently, this is a fuck it up Friday. Let's see what's going on. Y'all need answers, right? Y'all need the nitty gritty. What's going on behind your backs, right? Because you know your person's playing you. You know they dirty. You know they up to something. You know they up to no good, right? Don't you know no good? No, no, no. What is your person up against, right? What they doing, guys? That's no good, right? That's what we want to know. We want the answer. What is your person doing that's no good? Do tell spirit. For the collective, make it personal. For some. I never thought I would love you this much. So, the narcissist fell in love. I never thought I would love you this much. This is the narcissist oracle's deck. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I hide a lot of childhood trauma. So this person been through it. There's no telling what happened when they were a kid. They could have been adopted. They could have been uh, in foster care, going from home to home to home. They could have been abused. They could have been abused physically. They could have been abused mentally. They could have been touched as a child. Uh, mommy could have left. Daddy could have left. Childhood trauma, right? Everything. Everything. Everything, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Mm -hmm. I feel I feel unlovable, so I push you to hate me. So this person here, because of what happened in their childhood, they don't let people get close enough to love them. This person needs therapy, especially if you're an adult right now. You need therapy, baby, because holding on to that and doing nothing with it you need to go talk to somebody there's nothing wrong with therapy go talk to somebody this person is obsessed with you whatever that is right they're obsessed with you but they feel unlovable so they push you away that's not right person that's mental and then the person you messing with that takes them on this mental this mental game with you because they don't know what it is I had sex with someone you know Jesus freaking Christ well I don't know if the energy changed there. <laughs> Let's, I think that's separate. For whatever reason, I don't think this person would sleep with anybody, you know. That's a different person, guys. The energy switched over there. Therefore, we're going to take it as such collective. But in the meantime, let's talk to this person. What happened here, Spirit? What's going on with them? I never thought I would love you this much. I hide a lot of trauma, childhood trauma. They feel unlovable, so they want you to hate them, but they're obsessed with you. Mm. Holy Spirit, what's going on here? This person. They have issues, guys. They do. Yeah. It's like they want to come back into your life if they're out. This is a King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. But they're not offered any love right now. King of Cups energy is in reverse. It's like they want you to hate them. Even though they love you, they want you to hate them. Because there's something else. They could have gotten a divorce. The Hierophant in reverse. This person is making some type of movement in their life. It could be fighting. Maybe this person was married. I never told you since they hide a lot of they hide a lot of everything. They do love you though. There's the two of cups. But you're not in communications with this king right here. You're probably not talking. Could live at a distance. But to them, you're their everything. You're their everything. They love you, but they want you to hate them. You're their son, you're their will of fortune. They're just frustrated. And obsessed with you. Upset. Frustrated. And obsessed with you collective. There's a queen of pentacles here. And deception. This person's married. So that's another reason why they push you to hate them. 
Tell the truth, sir, ma'am, right? Tell the truth. You unlovable because you married. Tell the truth. But they love you. They obsessed with you, but they married. Look, they involved a lot of people. Other people are involved here. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Over here, I keep pulling, I'll find it. And there's a charity in reverse. That's why they can't come to you. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they push you to hate them because instead of telling their truth that they're married, they'll push you to hate them. They'll start fights, right? They'll start fights with you collective and push you away. And then y'all start it all over again. And then in three months, they'll come back. So this person is bored without you. They're unhappy in their marriage. They could be facing divorce, right? Like there's no stability in their marriage. They probably cheat. They cheated with you. And whatever you guys had, they want it back. So they cheated in their marriage. Look, and then the six of swords in reverse. So the person's coming back. Yep. It's a cheating little ass. Look at them. Yep. They obsessed with you, though. But they're going to blame it on childhood trauma. You ain't blaming it on childhood trauma over here. Baby, you married. I look, blame it on the I, 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 alcohol? No, not over here. Not today. I'm in a mood. Look, now they want to come and tell you their truth. They're going to say, hey, I'm divorced. Ten of Pentacles. Too late, sir, ma'am. I just told them. Ten cards back. So, guys, they're going to tell you what I just told you. That I'm divorced now, right? And I don't feel very strong, but I want to come and be with you and celebrate with you in this three of cups here. Because I love you. Do they love you guys? I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they just hit a marriage. You know, I don't know. What if said wife or said husband would have found out that you was messing with a husband or wife that you didn't know existed and they just bopped you upside your head? Will this person in turn do the same thing to you? Meet someone else once they get bored and never tell the other person, you know, hey, I'm not married, you know, I'm married. Will, will this happen to you? There may not be any new beginnings here with this person. Once you find out that they're married, yep, yeah, lovers in reverse, no new beginnings, lovers in reverse. You're not gonna lose no sleep over this, you're not. You're not losing any sleep over this, but it's gonna leave them and hang, man. And in they head, it is. It's going to shock the shit out of them. You're like, nah, I don't want that love offer. Thanks, but no thanks. Because now you took a step out of this situation. You look it at it. you like, first of all, you lied. Secondly, you lied. Thirdly, you lied. And I never knew you was married. You lied. And now you divorced all of a sudden? No. There's no new beginnings here. You're not doing this. Now they're under judgment. Guys, I ain't playing with y'all. It's all about you. Page of swords in reverse. You ain't thinking about this person. Now, who is this person that somebody had sex with somebody you know? Does that person even matter? Holy Spirit, who is this person? I had sex with somebody you know. Does this one even matter in this reading here? This is probably for another energy. It's probably going to switch. Who is this? They had sex with somebody you know. It's the Ace of Swords in reverse. I guess somebody want to come and tell you they truth now. Because they want new beginnings. So coming to tell somebody that you slept with somebody they know, you really think you're going to get new beginnings from that? Shut, come on. Really? Somebody I know? So they've been watching you guys. They've been keeping their eye on you. They frustrated though. They frustrated. They don't know if they want to offer you the, these cup of love, but they do see a ten of pentacles with you or maybe they think you're in a ten of pentacles. This is the king of cups coming in for you. Somebody's king of cup has sex with somebody that you know. And now they undecided. They don't know how to come in and tell you this. Seven of four swords. That's a sneaky motherfucker. So they had sex with somebody you know and whoever. Whew. You know what the problem is? And look, they, they fighting for you too. Now, what's crazy is, guys, they had sex with somebody you know, which means there's two effed up people around you. Cut them both off. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.